man? How you doing? My name is Sebastian Lagarde. I'm Paul Williams. And welcome to MSC Cribs. Let's go. Welcome to that crib. Okay. Hey man, say man. So here, right here, guys, we got a nice and beautiful representation of our new football. A little bit of history right there. We have some former players. So yeah. Yeah. Don't forget it. Yes. Right? 16, 17, and 18. I wish I had my ring on, but it's in the box. So. And this is all up on now. This is where all the before the morning grinds, practices, this is where we're at before. The RU football locker room um, over here. We have a nice trophy case that's still being built. It's okay. Uh, here we got the hammer. So basically, whoever can knock the head best, hardest hitter, you get to write your initials on there and it's be nice and cool to have, you know? So we also have some more. Come on, take that away, please. Right here? Mm, nice trophy display. Oh, Semi final runner up. <coughs> Athletic Division Championships. <coughs> West Division Championships. You know? Look. Cool I'm ball in there. Yeah. You know how we do it here. Yeah, we're going to Yeah. Right. Yeah, this is a cool way. But I'm going to And we got over here. This is when we beat Union. Three times. Yeah, that's the average champ. Yeah, that's, the, that's basically when we know who, who's the conference champs, and obviously, you know, we're celebrating. So. Yeah, this is the lockers. You can look at the lockers. You know, nice and sturdy. You got our names. You got yours. Where you're from. Yeah, that's me right here, so you can stay here for a little bit, take some pictures. What are you trying to do? I'm going to show you what a magic happens. Here. This is where the biceps come in. Oh. oh. Yeah! Woo! I can just feel the presence of here. Wow. Here we got some big dogs. Hey guys, you want to say hi to the camera? Yeah. Don't get a little bit. Yeah. Oh, this is perfection. Yeah. Yeah. Might oh, even God. get a workout in while I'm in here. Yeah. Yeah, I'll do this. I would do it, but I got jeans on. So, yeah. so up Jeff. here? Metal. Coach Tino right here, he displays all of our maxes, basically, and we have we go on percentages. So like, let's say he has 60% on the bar, we have these sheets that It tells you all the percentage, the weights. So basically we go off like a, his schedule, you know. As you can tell, it works out pretty nicely, sometimes. Um, over here. It's just like the stretch area basically, so before workouts we'll come around here all as a group, we'll stretch, we'll work out, then we'll get to our racks, and it's go time from there, really. After that, you know, just kind of grind time. My responsibilities as the head equipment manager are I handle everyday things such as laundry, um, equipment issues from helmet, shoulder pads, knee pads, thigh pads. My favorite thing about being the head um, equipment manager is it puts me in a role of leadership. I get to help out with the program. As you can tell right now the equipment room is a little bit empty as we're transitioning from spring ball getting ready for fall to all the helmets and shoulder pads are getting shipped off for reconditioning. But guess what? Got some new things coming for you guys in the fall of 2019. Be ready because hey, out with the old and in with the new. Woo! Boys. Hey, what's up? Welcome to the training room on campus. This is where all athletes come in and if you have any bangs or bruises or some injuries, the man himself right here, as you can see, he looks at anything you got going on 
and he'll diagnose it and he'll send you off to the doctor and get it fixed up. But here is, you get treatment, you can get STEM, you can you have all the, whatever the stuff is in here, band stuff, ice bath machine. It actually is a, a heated pool type thing too, so it has a swirling thing, so you know, like I said, anything you need, this is the place to come to get treated up. though as a team besides winning games or just developing young men. We want our guys to be better men from when they leave from when they came in. Trying to get these guys a couple lessons that I didn't, didn't that I didn't have when I was in college or growing up and hopefully they learn from it and you know try to be more successful than I was. Right heart isn't a perfect place but it's our place and it's perfect to us and we try to make it the best place we possibly can every single day. So now that you've seen the athlete side of campus Let's take you to the student side. Now this, this is the main treat on campus. Right here we have ourselves our personal Starbucks. It's in the library, so it's convenient. You know, when you're doing work, you want to have a quick shot of coffee. There you go, you got yourself an espresso. Here, we have computers available 24 seven for anybody needing to, let's say, print out some papers, do some homework last second they forgot about. This is open all the time for anybody, so that's awesome. If we walk in here, this, this is the library. A lot of books, yeah. so if you wanna look around, everything you need, sorry for being loud, the library, but. Everything you need to research, anything like that, everything you got is right here, so that's awesome. Also, if you need books for class or just need to look something up, they have books behind the counter, and Mr. Drew will assist you with that. Man, I'm getting it. And now off to the second floor of the library. Well, there's more stuff. This is, uh, for those football players, this is where the study hall occurs, so. For upcoming freshmen that come in, you're required to come here and get some work done. So you know, you gotta keep that GPA up. So you come in here, the coaches come watch you, make sure you're doing your work. And you're here for about an hour, so you just gotta get some work done. You have a computer lab over here, which is used for classrooms and all other type of events on campus. And if there's not enough seating in here itself, there's also individual rooms with more seating. So there's also classrooms up here, obviously. Oh yeah. And you know, out here, we got, oh, Devil Fresh Walk. Oh, nah, no, no, man no, on no, campus, no, man no, on campus. No, no, no. What's up? Hey, shout out to, what's happening? Yes. God fair way, yeah. 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 If you need any fog clothing, you know, this man show. got you right here, show. telling you. So up here, you know, if you want some scenic view while you're studying, as you can tell, he's doing the same thing. Show. It's a beautiful place to come up here and get your work done, some fresh air, get a nice glimpse of the beautiful campus on. I think this is one of the best views on campus. <laughs> you again? Kid, what's up? This is the Echo Garden. It's actually my first time here, so I'm here with you guys to experience this. We stand right here, and apparently it echoes. <laughs> Yo! I don't know if you heard that, but it's pretty cool. Yo! And if you want to see the most beautiful view on campus, honestly, right behind you here. Woo! Oh my god. Lord have mercy. And right now they're actually building a little, you see that you can kind of see like a little trail going on. They're going to make it all rocks. So it's more accessible to other classes instead of having to walk all the way around to go up there. So yeah. And also, it's a perfect time this year where you can go. Get, yeah, get yourself an Eno, get some, some friends, some books, and start to read, you know? Welcome to the best place on campus. The game room. Uh, here, students can just come in after a long day of hard work, come in here, you know, release some stress a little bit, you know, play some ping pong, foosball, pool, watch some TV. Sometimes people come in and hook the games up, we'll have some game nights. 
So I know it's a fun environment here. Do you cheers? Ferrari leather. Oh, I actually come from the sleep Yeah, so naps are also welcome. It's kind of first come, first serve, so. If you want a nap, you better get here early. Welcome to the food house. This is the cafeteria. This is the main food area. This is like the main courses. They have them all posted on the flat screen TVs right here. So over here, we have our kind of like the vegetable lines. So if you want to add something to your sandwich or whatever, the salad. This is the pizza line. It has pizza. Build your own sandwich, so whatever sandwich you want, you can make it. They also toast them. So that's it's like a Subway. Yeah, basically like a Subway. So once you get your food, you make your way over here to the lounging area. Okay, guys. <laughs> this is where everyone sits down and eats their food. What's up, mate? How you doing, see guys? Nice to see you, sir. Nephew. Hey, oh, see you. what's going on, man? I haven't seen you in a while. Uh, this is where everyone eats together as a family. Usually, you know, football players, we kind of sit together. So, like, this is kind of our area. Not like, you know, it just kind of happens. I don't know. And on this side, we got the surreal. What? The surreal. Take it away, come on. Got skim milk, 2% chocolate. And any variety of cereal that you enjoy. You have your coffee machine, espresso. So this is basically like a to-go Starbucks right here. And in the morning time, during breakfast, after morning workouts, you know, you can come in, make yourself a waffle, and have yourself some syrup. Can we got video? I see you guys again. What's Welcome up? to Eagle View. The newest dorm on campus. This is where all the nice stuff is. So we give you a quick tour. See how it looks. This is the main entrance of Eagle View Residence Hall. The newest dorm on campus. It hosts both girls and guys, so it's good for a co-ed building. Girls on this side, guys on the other side. And it's mostly for coming in freshmen who live in living learning communities. And this is basically just the lobby. So they sometimes have classes in here, but you can just hang out after lunch and say, finish some homework, or just typical stuff of students. Welcome to Eagle's Den right here. This is where the actual classrooms are. That's where work gets done. Uh, it's Saturday, so it's convenient because you know some students can have class here and then go straight to the dorm which is in the same building. So that's awesome. Um, this is brand new. I uh, was built this past year, basically. So there should not be any maintenance problems in here. You got a nice view of the porch. There's Hubbard Hall over there. Over there is the gym to the left. You keep going down that road. And it's just going to keep growing from here on, so they'll probably put more buildings over here because we have a lot more students down. This is the Eagle's Nest. After you, my good sir. What are you doing here? <laughs> Whoa, you got a problem? This is another classroom, so basically, like I said, people come in here. Classes usually towards the end of the day, and you just go straight to the dorms after, so it's convenient, like I said. It's pretty nice, all brand new carpet, brand new windows, floors, walls, everything. So, we're open to anybody and anytime. Reinhardt is the brotherhood. The football team is one big family, and we try to help each other out as much as we can. My favorite aspect of this team is just the brotherhood we have developed over these past couple of years. Um, I think we've gotten a lot closer than we've been. I mean, we're not just our offense and defense is more of just one unit. And I think that's what's going to help us win games this year. Just guys battling and playing for each other. It's not about winning games here. It's about making them better men, making them better fathers, making them better husbands, making them better employees employers. That's what we're all about and 
that, that's what we're here for. It's a great university where you can get a great degree and you can play really good football. Oh, what's up, man? Uh, thank you guys for coming on the tour with us. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the bridge. And we'll talk to y'all later. Don't forget to tip your waitress.